theorem about the uh, uh, Baker Campbell Hausdorff formula. Okay, so let me write down Baker uh, Campbell uh, Hausdorff. Okay, so there are two of them, uh, but basically in this video we prove the first one. Okay, so the first one is that I give you A, B are just uh, operators, or or you like write as a n by n matrix. Uh, maybe the coefficient can be R or other field. Then the, basically you can write down probably the ring is still okay. I mean if you use the commutative ring, basically you have exponential A, B, exponential minus A to be B. A B plus a uh, half A A B and uh, keep going three factorial A A A B keep going okay so this is the formula we want to prove okay so let me remind you guys some uh, important things uh, okay so the first is the the definition for the exponential A just A to the n and factorial n so key point is that uh, since A is a field, right? So basically, you can prove that uh, by a wire trust M test that uh, it is always converge. Okay. So to prove it, uh, what we need to do is just rewrite f of x exponential x a to b and uh, b exponential minus x a. So this is our f of x. So uh, you you should view this is a polynomial fun uh, polynomial for one variable x. Okay, and then you do the derivative. Oh, by the way, I I, I define it to be f of n. f of n is a constant, uh, basically a function of a b, x of n divided by n factorial. At least, and then you can do the uh, differentiation respect to x, respect to x. Okay, so the nice thing is that you will get uh, n. Let me see. You will get a minus one factorial f of n x n minus one. Okay, so uh, nothing special, and uh, but but you should re remember this ch should change it to be one, should change it to be one, and uh, okay, and uh, okay, so this is just definition, but how about we start from this? So with respect to d over dx, then we get the x a a b exponential minus a uh, minus exponential x a and uh, b. A is minus or minus x a. Okay, so you write down it's we can get uh, uh, by the way a is commutative commutative with expon exponential x a. Okay, so from this one and uh, okay, so we can shuffle these two two terms. Uh, what we get is a f of x. Okay, so yeah, you can check it, a a a is here, so a is here, so a is here, and the uh, f of x times a is is b a okay so from this okay so uh what we already uh so we are done this is a just sigma f of n x n n factorial from n to infinity so this is just n from zero to infinity n factorial uh one a f of n x of n okay so from these two then we can change the variable to n to n plus one then what we got is the results so what we got is this f of n plus one it's just a f of n okay so this is our our final results okay okay so what is what is f of zero what is f of zero okay by definition f of zero is just the first term so f of zero is just b right i mean you can write f of x as one plus x a plus I should say identity plus x a x square a square divided by two, and the b times one minus x a. Okay, so the first term is is b. Okay, and the second term f of one is just a b, f of two just a b a. And you keep going by using this, and you put all this f into the formula into formula, and then let x to be one. And then the x to be one. Then finally, you will get uh, you just you since you already know each f, and then you put x equals to one. Okay, so what we have proof is that exponential a is b exponential minus a is just b plus a b 
plus 1 over 2 factorial a a b and you keep going okay so proof oh, it has done has done okay so this proof is basically very trivial okay so just the recomputation and the next time we will prove the second uh, baker campbell household formula which is uh, much difficult much difficult and uh, we will use the the beta function beta function then don't worry that i will at least give a lemma or give you the result of the beta function so don't worry about detail and be sure to subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in the next uh, proof next proof